Why not? That's weird. Okay, that's weird.
I refuse. What did I do? What? Take death! Note to self, stop purchasing demonic games. Ay, 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 what did I get myself into here? Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde on the NES. Based on the Robert Louis Stevenson novel of the same name dealing with a doctor who makes a potion that exposes his inner evil, it is one of the most popular stories of the 20th century. It was dark, surreal, and as you imagine it, spawned a ton of spin-offs. Including several movie adaptations, the best one being the 1931 version starring Frederick Marsh, a whole series of comics, even a musical, sometimes starring great singing talents like David Hasselhoff. All that you are is a face in the mirror I close my eyes and you disappear I am what you face when you face in the mirror Long as you live, I will still be here You know, it's really sad when your cameo in Spongebob comes off as more adult. But one version came out in 1989 for the NES titled The Strange Case of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Fun fact, that is the original title of the book. Well, guess it proves one thing. Someone on the team actually looked at the book's cover. Alright, so the plot of the game is that Jekyll has created a potion that turns him into Hyde. And that's about as close to the book as it possibly gets, because let me tell you, this game wants to prove that it can take as many liberties as it wants. So, here's the deal. If you die as Jekyll, you turn into Hyde. You die as Hyde, and the game's over. There are two ways to die as Hyde. Number one, the traditional way. Getting hit too many times. Number two, getting as far as Jekyll. Alright, so wrap your head around this. So, when you die as Jekyll and turn into Hyde, you're actually playing the same stage you played as Jekyll in reverse, and if you get as far as where Jekyll died as Hyde, lightning strikes and you die as Hyde. The whole point is to turn back into Jekyll. You do this by killing monsters which lowers your stress meter, get the meter back down, and you turn back into Jekyll. Now, you'd think that once you're back in the town, you'd be safe from harm, but no. Everyone here wants you dead. Why? I have no idea, but they will do anything they can to kill you. Your only weapon is a cane, but it does nothing. You can try all you want, but you will not hit anything. The cane is completely useless. Why have a weapon in the game if it doesn't even do anything? When you're Hyde, it's like playing an entirely different game. Unlike the Jekyll stages where you can move at your own pace, here, the screen is constantly scrolling left. You can't go backwards. Even when you reach the end of the stage, you still move forwards on your own. You can't even turn around. All you can do is just walk backwards. Little known fact, Mr. Hyde was actually a big fan of Michael Jackson, apparently. Only way he can move backwards is the moonwalk. Even though the enemies here are far more threatening, you can actually fight back by shooting these crazy projectiles that the game calls a Psycho Wave. The pattern is so erratic, you'll be lucky if you actually hit anything. You can punch by hitting the B button, but why would you want to punch when you can shoot? It's not like you can actually run out of ammo, so the punch is completely worthless. The irony here is that when you're Jekyll, it's near unplayable. But as Hyde, it actually starts to kind of feel like a game. A game that was barely started, but still a game. So, why is playing as the bad guy more fun? That's the idea, right? Jekyll's good, Hyde is bad. Well, if that's the case, why are all the townspeople trying to kill Jekyll? Shouldn't they be going after Hyde? All the Doctor has done so far is take his leisurely stroll across the town. So, why are they after us? 
Well, according to the manual, Jekyll is on his way to his wedding, and the kid with the slingshot, Billy Pones, has a crush on his fiance. Well, I'll give him this. They at least gave a reason for why one of the characters wants us dead. Now, he just got 20 more to go, guys. They give no explanation as to why the people attack you. Who's this lady that keeps giving you a literal hit and run? Why does this guy feel the need to chuck dirt in our face? How did this guy get a pipe bomb? Where did he get a pipe bomb? He lays it down and blows you away, often taking almost all of your health. This is the worst part of the game. You could be a mile away and the explosion still hits you. The only way I've been able to avoid it is by running as far away as I can and jump while the bomb goes off. But good luck trying to get away from it! You don't have a run button like Mario, and you don't build up speed like Sonic. You move at the same speed the whole time with no way to go faster. In fact, most of the game is like this. Just keep walking and walking and walking and walking. God, am I playing a game or looking at a screensaver? Why do you have to move so slow? You know what? You don't walk slow. You actually walk normal. Like an ordinary human being. I don't have a big problem with that, but look at his walk cycle. Who moves their legs that fast and yet goes so slow? I guess they wanted to be realistic, but tell me, have you ever seen anyone who walks like this in real life? Hello, madam. How are you this fine day? Okay, I guess. Oh, you're like a bagel. The scent of a bagel, specifically. No one likes you. So this game wants to be realistic. Okay, fine, I can tolerate that. And you can probably chalk up the walk cycle to the limitations at the time, fine, I can deal with that. Be realistic. As realistic as a man who hangs in the air for an unrealistic amount of time while jumping. Seriously, everything in this game goes for a fictional tone and style. Especially since you turn into a psychopath who kills monsters with a fireball on speed. Everyone in the town unrealistically hates your good side and has a civilian laying down pipe bombs that defy the laws of physics. So here's the bottom line. Either make the whole game realistic or just have Jekyll walk faster. Who asked for this? I mean, was the demand for the Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde video game so high that they had to go and rush out this crap? Who made this? Toho? Yeah, the same company that made the Godzilla films made this game. Dude, can you imagine if when Jekyll drank the potion, instead of turning into Hyde, he transforms into Godzilla and wipes out the whole town in one fell swoop? <sighs> God, what else can I even say about this game? Literally nothing about it is good. The graphics are dull, the music is awful, the control is horrendous, and the mere concept is just absurd. Robert Louis Stevenson would be rolling in his grave if he saw how his story ended up and would be remembered. Not as a classic piece of literature, but as a broken down mess of programming. Ugh. Come on! No! Ugh. That's it! I can't take this anymore!
Oh, great. Now I gotta clean all this stuff up! Package for Sean, my lady here. Yeah, that's me. Have a good day. Thanks. That'll do.